All right, it's time for this week's Pick of the Litter. Meet Maya. She's a vibrant Siberian husky who will be even more happy to find her forever home. She is so gorgeous. Beautiful. Here to show us how you can take her home, Kathy Jung, president of the NSPCA, a no-kill animal shelter. How are you? I'm good, thank you. She is so beautiful. Yes, she's gorgeous. She's a bit of a shedder, though, so just be prepared for that. Because mm -hmm. right now, with the change of the season, she's losing all of her winter coat. Because and you're wearing it. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 I thought it right that now. Was <laughs> I know, it's like a fashion statement yeah. that I brought with me. So it's all good. And, and dogs like this, especially out here in Nevada, it gets hot. They're shed constantly. Oh, yeah. If you take them to a groomer's regular, uh, just to, just to keep a regular appointment, you can keep the shedding down. Oh, okay, that's good yes. to know. How wow. did you get her? Um, she came to us because apparently her family lost her home, and oh. being in an apartment environment and not being at home to take care of her, um, she is a bit of a chewer. So if she doesn't have some attention and her own toys to chew on. She already chewed on chew through one leash here, but <laughs> she's very calm. I have yes. not heard her bark no. once. Very sweet. No, she's very calm. In fact, she was over there and she was laying on my feet. So uh -huh. she is a great, great girl. Very That's calm, so very super girl. Can we talk about those eyes? Beautiful. She has the most mesmerizing blue eyes. Yes, she does. That's yeah. the husky yeah. that's, that's in her. They're so gorgeous. Yeah, which, you know, um, huskies by nature are usually very high strung because they're they're working dogs. She is very calm, yeah. really. She just wants a toy to chew on and play with and lay by your feet is what she wants. How do we adopt her? Come down to the sanctuary at 4800 West Dewey Drive. If you have a dog, children, bring your whole family. Let's do the meet and greet there in the lobby. Make sure everybody yeah. gets along. I have no doubt in my mind she wouldn't get along with, with your family. It's about if your dog would welcome her in. She plays well. Yes, she does play well with others. So, she lives in a kennel right now with another uh, with a Malamute. So, okay. now what other animals are up for adoption? Uh, we always have dogs and ca dogs and cats, of course. Right mm -hmm. now, we have a lot of bunnies to choose from. So, mm -hmm. bunnies of all ages and all colors. We've got we've got guinea pigs right now. We've got rats. We've got mice. We've got potbelly pigs, chickens, and roosters. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. That's a lot of <laughs> options. That's right. Miles, right? Yes. So you whatever you're looking for, you'll find it with us. And you always need volunteers. We can right? always use volunteers. Donations. Yes, absolutely. We rely 100% on the community. We receive no government funding. So if you, if you can help us out financially, that would be great. If you've got time, come up, spend some time, walk the dogs, play with the cats, trim the bunnies' nails. There's always a need. <laughs> Now, wow. what uh, what other fundraiser do you have coming up? Um, later on this uh, after the summer, we have our bowling event, of course. Uh, but over the summer, it's actually too hot to take the dogs out, so we usually try to keep keep everybody in indoors. But mm. but we can always use the financial support. Very so smart. before we go, tell us about uh, what happened to Valentino last week. Valentino went home. <gasps> Valentino go, went oh, home, and there was oh, actually Valentino. yeah, there was actually oh, quite a few people God. here at the station that were interested in him, oh, and they so yeah, beautiful. I was getting text messages. Well, you bring us the on. best. Pets. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Maya needs a loving home. If you would like to adopt her, head to the shelter on Dewey Drive. For more information, visit the website or call the number on your screen. They're also on Facebook and Twitter.